Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my April whichever number update. No, this is March. This is March. It's not April yet. I have my March update for Oldie But Goodie Project Pan. It is a small-ish collab and um, this was created by my girl Amanda and I'm loving this. I am loving this so much. It is all like Oldie's songs. Um, anything before the 70s, 70s and earlier and uh, I this this is my era i just i love these songs and um we had to pick 10 songs and match products to them and then of course pan them so yeah i um i'm loving this so much it started november 26th and ends may 26th i had to look at my spreadsheet to see when it ended and i am going to have a list of everyone that is in this collab down below if you want to go check them out and and i recommend that you do because you know it's just a wonderful group of ladies um, all right, so I have an empty, I have an empty, I have for one of my all-time favorite songs, Elton John's Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. I picked it obviously because of the yellow little swoosh in the cap, and um, this was the Volumizing Dry Shampoo by Tresemme. Yeah, I used it as a shoe refresher, and um, I, I will probably always use any dry shampoo that I get as a shoe refresher now, and I... I'm so thankful that I have such wonderful people that suggest things to me. And this is why I love the painting community because I would have never thought to use a dry shampoo to refresh my shoes. Even though I use powder and this is like basically canned powder, like I, my brain just didn't work that way, I guess. And um, this is how I used it. And I'm, I'm so thankful. I've noticed other people um, that saw my video with the other dry shampoo that I finished up are now going to try using it in their shoes too. I guess I'm not the only one that really isn't a dry shampoo person. So when I get these in sub boxes and stuff, I guess that's what's going to happen with them. All right. So I'm happy to have that done. I have now finished seven of 10 products. I finished um, Rose Radiance by Bare Minerals for the Rose Bette Midler. I finished um, the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray for I Drove All Night by Roy Orbison. I finished the Travel Size St. Ives Apricot Scrub for Traveling Man Ricky Nelson. Uh, let's see, the Peter Thomas Roth Hungarian Thermal Water Mask for Bridge Over Troubled Water by Simon and Garfunkel. I finished the Bath and Body Works Sea Island Cotton Shower Gel for Fools Rush In by Elvis Presley. And I have finished the Royal Locks Dream Cream for Suspicious Minds by Elvis Presley. I have three left, three left. And one of them is gonna be done soon. I'm gonna show you that one first. This is for I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor. And this is the Kat Von D Locket Concealer because Gloria, you should have changed that stupid lock. You really should have. So this is, what I have left. I don't know if you can see right there just how scraped out that is. The top half is really well scraped out. The stopper is out of it. I do have just a little bit in there. Let's see if it'll focus properly. This is going to be done any day. I'm going to have to use like a concealer brush to get down into the bottom of there to finish that off. It is going to be done in the month of March. I have no doubt about that and I'll be happy to have that done. Um, all right, moving on to Logan's and Messina, your mama don't dance and your daddy don't rock and roll. Um, I am working on the color Rockabilly. I've got serious, serious pan in there. I've just expanded that since last time. I will be repressing this and I will put um, before and after pictures on Instagram of the repress. It's just getting to be so hard to get my brush in there. I use like a big fluffy brush. And there's like a little floaty thing. I think it's a Hans hair. My German Shepherd. Yes, his name is Hans. Um, so yeah, I'm going to repress that, put the pictures on Instagram, and hopefully I will make some good progress on that. The last one is Superstition by Stevie Wonder. And you know you guys have that song stuck in your head now. Um, you're welcome. 
I chose the Evil Shades 13th Hour since thir the number 13 is a superstition. I don't know if it's going to show the dip in there. Uh, I'm definitely making good progress on it. Hopefully I will have this done by the finale on May 26. I don't know. I actually am wearing it now. Um, I used a navy blue to set my eyeliner for the bottom lash line and like the two thirds of the upper lash line and the outer third I have that 13th hour. I love to like deepen the eyeliner out here with that and I don't know it just makes it pop a little bit more. All right I'm gonna wrap this up because you know I've only talked about three products really so let's get this over with. Don't forget to check out my girls down below. You're going to love them. Check them out. Show them some love. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.